Good morning, guys and girls. We've got Deej Babbitt here and my brother, Matt Babette. We're just here in the car on the way to the gym. We've got a big day ahead of us. Matt, are you excited? I'm really excited. Um, we've got our interview today with 3ZZZ, so best thing to do is to get in the gym, uh, shake off those cobwebs and wake up. <laughs> and get the day started. So today, as Matt said, we've got the interview with Triple Z. Then we've got um, an open for inspection. And then after that, we've got a listing appointment where we'll be heading to somebody's house who's contacted us off Facebook, who's thinking about selling, of course. So we're going to go and have a chat to them. We're not sure if we can bring you in for that part, but we'll see how the day goes. So let's get out there and let's do it. Alrighty guys, here we are, we're at the gym, we've made it. It is a bit cold, but I think it's like nine degrees or eight degrees, but let's get in there and let's get it. So Matty here has just jumped from, well, like 40 kilos, all the way to 63 or something like that. I'm a bit, I'm a bit younger than Deej, so uh, I'd never a problem with that going up and weight much quicker than him. <laughs> yeah, so Matt's younger, his, uh, his joints don't hurt as much, so he can more quickly get to that heavy weight than what I can. I need to warm up a lot more. How are you feeling, Matty? How's the joints going? All warmed up? I'm feeling good. I'm well and truly warmed up now, so it's time to get into the, the proper weight. What are we at? 63, all the way to 105. Uh, we'll, try, we'll try and go for body weight today. Alrighty, so after all the body weight exercise and the lap pull down, we like to move into a bent over movement, which is a movement like this. We're calling a bar up. Uh, this is a really, really good mass builder. It's very, very taxing on the body and it does uh, create a lot of muscle growth. So we're gonna get into it right now. Hopefully I don't hurt myself. Wraps, oh, sorry, straps. Uh, this basically wraps around the bar and it helps me to grip the weight and it doesn't slip out of my hands as easily because sometimes I get really, really sweaty. So we've got 100 kgs on the bar now, so start to get serious. I feel I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> Just finished training our back, training our lats, so the second muscle to that is biceps. So now we're going to train our biceps here, do some bicep curls. With this type of exercise, it's not about heavy weights like back, it's more about volume and about reps. How much do you weigh? 104.1. And why'd you start at? Uh, about six weeks ago, I was 110, so doing well, about a kilo a week. And that's a wrap on the gym, ladies and gentlemen. We're all done. <laughs> let's get changed and let's go to our first open for inspection. There we go, just like that, the magic of television. We're changed and we're at our first open for inspection. So let's get out there and let's hit it. Hey guys, welcome to 48 Live in Crystal Hampton Park. We're pumped here, we've got a busy open. We've just had a, a killer session at the gym. We've been here for about five minutes now, and as you can see, it's a very busy open. There's been about 15 people uh, through here. All our rentals opens and all our sales opens are this busy because we manage our databases uh, quite well. And all the properties that we rent actually rented within uh, one week, so the results speak for themselves.
So we've just done our opens for the day. We're off to head office of 3ZZZ in Brunswick and we're just in the car rehearsing now. So how are you feeling, Deej? Um, I'm a little bit nervous. I wouldn't, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't nervous. I've never been on the radio before, but I am looking forward to it. I'm always on about, you know, challenging your fears and, you know, getting out of your comfort zone. So this is exactly what uh, Matt and I are doing today. We're out of that comfort zone. We've, uh, we, we, we haven't been on the radio before. We're pushing out there. We're nervous, but you know what? We're going to do it anyway, and we're going to hopefully bring you some really, really cool content and give you an insight into our lives and what, what we're all about. So stay tuned. Uh, we're almost there. We're only about 20 minutes away. So fingers crossed, guys. Yeah, tune in, guys. It's all about stepping out of your comfort zone. It's all about doing things that you're not comfortable about. So see how we uh, perform today on the radio. Oh, <laughs> by the time you guys see this video, we'll have already done the interview. So head on over to freetriplez.com.au and on the left-hand side of the page, there'll be a button where you can actually click and download it. So have a look if you've got some uh, free time. I'm sure it'll either be absolutely fantastic or maybe we'll, maybe we'll be really, really uh, nervous and stuff it up. But have a look. There's only one way to find out. Alrighty guys, so as you can see, we're almost uh, in the inner city now. We're not far away, probably now less than five minutes away. Wow. But you know what, this is our first time on the radio, like I was saying before. This got me thinking, um, Maddie and I were talking about this off, off camera, about how far we've come. You know, two years ago, we started a business uh, from scratch. We left comfortable jobs, high paying jobs, to walk basically into the unknown to try and better our lives and, you know, do something different for ourselves and, you know, really push on forward and try and build a legacy. And now we're at the point where, and I know this is not like a, like, you know, a huge deal and all that kind of stuff, but it is for us, you know, we're just two guys from a small island and, you know, now we've got three office locations across Melbourne and we're about to be on the radio. So for us, it's like a really, really huge deal. So I just want to say thank you to everyone out there for all the support that you've given us. And this is just a, col a it's just a culmination of, you know, years of hard work for us, us both. So thank you very much. How cool is that? That guy or girl has a coffee shop. Literally, it looks like it's in their house. So it's just, it's like having a coffee shop at the front door of your house. That's, that is awesome. Here we are, we're just about to walk into 3 Z. DJ's still answering work calls. And uh, we're running about uh, 25 minutes or so, so looking forward to it. How long have you been uh, working here? Oh, it's been, it's been a year already. One year? Yeah. And how, how are you finding it's been, it? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Been talking to people. Meeting new people every day? Things, of course, yeah. Yeah, Very and nice. what's your role here? What do you do? Uh, for now, I'm just opening the door for everyone to come in. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for letting us in. Appreciate it. It yes, is cold uh, outside. Yes, it's really, really cold. Yeah. So, yeah, I'll be on the panel, like, yep. giving you guys good music. Yep. Yeah. So if we make any mistakes, we just start playing music. Of course, so yes. I say, okay. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, I say like, okay, cut, cut the sound. Music on. <laughs> oh, okay, beautiful. All right. Well, thank okay. you very much for the opportunity. Yeah. Thanks for having us here. No worries. All <laughs> oh, good. I'm here with uh, Vincent. Vincent got interviewed as well today on Three Triple Z. Vincent, thank you for being part of our vlog series today. Ah, oh, you're welcome. Matt, was it uh, episode 16? Or 17? Episode 16 or 17, I believe. I yeah. think it's 16 or 17 on our, on our vlog. You can catch it on uh, YouTube or Facebook. Now, Vincent, what is it that you do? So I'm a registered migration agent. Yep. You know, I help people. Like, not everyone. We were all born equal, but we were not born, all born in Australia. Of course. So that's what I do. So <laughs> you help people get to Australia, basically. Get to yeah. Australia. From Obviously anywhere in the world or from just... Yeah, from anywhere in the world. Yeah, well. Even if they're on Lofu, like, I help them to regular regularize their status. Yeah. If you've got friends who want to come to study here. Yeah. Assess the eligibility for the, the permanent visa, partner visa, skill okay. visa, whatever, the, all okay. types of visa. So you help them for their, their uh, paperwork, the loopholes they need to go through, that kind of thing, to That's make correct. the process easy for them to get here. Correct. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And I you do. know, it's a very lucky country, so of course everyone's going to want to come here. Yeah. How do people find you if they want to uh, uh, get in touch? So essentially, you can find me on Facebook. Um, oh, you know what? I'll tag him down below in this post on the, uh, Facebook. Yeah, yeah. Or give me a call or... What, yeah. What's your phone number? So my phone number is 0468 603 288. Awesome. Now, Vincent actually just got out of his interview just then. Yes. How did you find it? Oh, 
Wonderful. Wonderful. Was it a bit stress? Yeah. At yeah. first, it's always a bit stressful. Very very stressful. But yeah, and then as the minutes were going, yeah, it was it was fine. Yeah. I, I assume I did I did well. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, I hope it was very informative for people who were for the audience, those yep. who were listening. And I'm happy to answer any questions because I understand there will be a Q&A um, session most likely mm. next time. Mm. And I'll be more than happy to um, assist everyone. Absolutely. Everyone. And if you want to catch Vincent's interview or ours as well, um, you can just get on the 3 Z website, 3 zcomau and you can download it. So it's, it's on the left-hand side of the webpage uh, towards the top. So thank you very much for being part of our vlog, bro. Right. You're welcome. Appreciate Thanks, it. Uh, Kira's been in as well and she's had an interview also. And believe it or not, she was less nervous than we were. So. How was the interview? Uh, it wasn't actually that bad. At first, I was really, really nervous, but then I just kind of rolled with it. <laughs> That's good. You get, you get comfortable with yeah. it as, as it goes on. So, what were you interviewed about? Uh, I was actually talking about like a special drink. It's yep. called Banaco. Yep. We usually use this for a festival in Mauritius that we yep. call Divani. Yep. Yep. Uh, or Gabby. Okay, so you know how to make it, do you? Yeah. So anytime you need some of that drink, you can contact Kira here and she'll sure. help you out. So she's only 10 years old and she's managed to do a radio interview and she's been totally fine. So I can see big things coming for you in your future. Thank you very much for having a chat with us. <laughs> Bobby Brothers, two young men, Mark <laughs> and DJ Babu. Hello. Thank you so much for having us. I appreciate it a lot. Um, you you know we've uh, listened to this station before oh thank you uh, my parents love this station and i really really appreciate that you invited us to come here and have a chat to you today and we are very proud to welcome you in our thank studios. you so now see thank you so matt and dj tell us about yourselves to start with it's a little bit of information about ourselves um the two the first two Bobby brothers that actually came to mauritius came on a boat in the 1700s uh, they're two brothers uh, like ourselves and they're very industrious, so we're trying to follow in, in their footsteps. My dad actually came from Mauritius back around 1970 and he went to Rodriguez to work, met my mum there. Uh, then we, were we had an absolutely amazing time. It went really, really smoothly actually. Uh, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. Oh, we were harping, harping on and on about how nervous we were, but now that I've done it, I think I've been doing it a thousand times any day of the week. Uh, we push the boundary, so I think, uh, what's our next goal? Uh, TV? <laughs> the next goal is definitely <laughs> TV, channel 7, 9 and 10. Uh, you know, if we can get there, we'll get there, we'll find a way. Uh, we're always, you know, willing to push the boundaries. But anyway, we're out of here now. We're in the car now, we're all done. We're going to grab some food real quick and then we're going to head off to our next appointment. I see where we are at Project 281. This is my friend's cafe, actually. We're going to go in and grab some food. We're pretty hungry. Um, after our, our, our radio experience just then. So let's go there and let's do it. Oh, dude, I'll have the uh, eggs on toast, please. Yeah, how would you like your eggs? Scrambled. Any drinks? Uh, nope. How are you feeling, Matt? How was the uh, experience? I'm feeling really good now that it's all uh, all said and done. I was quite nervous before, but I really feel good at that interview. I think we convey our message uh, quite well, and we've got to let people know about us a little bit uh, better as well, so I'm happy with it. And what did you order? I forgot, I'll show you when it comes out. <laughs> so given it's uh, my cheat meal today, I've got a beef uh, bulgogi burger, and I've got a pork ham hock and um, poached eggs, so looking forward to it. And I got that. Alright, so we've just finished up having some food here at Project 281. If you have a chance, come check out the cafes in Brunswick. It's pretty damn good. The food was very tasty, huh, Matty? It was really good. Um, I think it was worthy of a cheat meal. <laughs> Not bad at all. So let's head on to our next appointment. Let's go.
So we've just had a cheap meal, we've had our, our uh, interview on the radio and now we're heading off to our next appointment uh, to list up a house. How do we get this listing gauge? So basically somebody saw one of our videos on Facebook a couple of days ago and they inboxed us and said, hey, we, you know, we're looking to sell our house, uh, are you able to help? And we said, of course we're able to help. They asked us to come over on Saturday, we said we'd be there after that interview at 3 Z, and we're on the way now, so the next time you see us, we'll be there. So we're almost there, we're about five minutes away. All right, guys, we've reached our next appointment. We're here and we're excited to get this property listed for sale. All right, and unfortunately, we can't take you inside with us because uh, the owner doesn't want to be on camera. However, have you ever been to the Maldives? Check it out, have a good trip. Then you're just open so I can reach your heart. Alright, how was your trip? Did you have a good time? That's it for the vlog today, ladies and gents. We've just listed this beautiful property for sale in the southeastern suburbs of Melbourne. I'm pretty happy, Matt. How about you? You know, listing a house for sale never gets old. If it's your first house or your hundredth house, it's always a wonderful feeling. Absolutely. Have an amazing day, guys. End the vlog here. Cue music. <laughs>